Although Windows 10 and Linux have the same goals, they go about them in different ways. I'm going to discuss five fundamental differences between these two platforms. Are you ready? Let's go. Considering from whence they came, Microsoft is doing an outstanding job of supporting open source. Just take a look at Azure, and you'll find an overwhelming number of deployments are of Linux. Microsoft even runs their own open source site that promotes open dev for Azure. Thing is, however, Windows 10 does not benefit from that embracing of open source. The Microsoft operating system is still very much proprietary. The source for the Windows platform is simply not available for viewing. On the contrary, the source for Linux is widely available. In fact, if you want to view the Linus Torvald source tree for the kernel, it's available to view and download. It has been well documented that Windows 10 is a privacy advocate's worst enemy. Windows includes some pretty serious invasions of your privacy. In fact, the Electronic Frontier Foundation has said Windows 10 blatantly disregards user choice and privacy, and that Microsoft makes users choose between having privacy and security in how the OS handles data collection. Linux, on the other hand, takes user privacy very seriously. One only need look back to how Canonical handled user complaints about Ubuntu Unity and online privacy. After widespread complaints, Canonical switched the default behavior of Unity's online search feature from enabled to disabled. The Linux platform does not collect user data, period. I'm going to preface this by saying no operating system is 100% secure. If your computer is attached to a network, it's vulnerable. That being said, Windows Achilles has been for a very long time security. With every iteration, the specter of security looms large over the operating system. Windows 10 is no different. Microsoft has made a few advances with Windows 10, but not enough. Even with Windows 10, users still must take advantage of antivirus, anti-malware, and even then, they cannot be certain. Linux, on the other hand, doesn't suffer from those same rampant insecurities. Is it perfect? By no means. Although many would argue the reason Linux doesn't suffer from the same deluge of malicious code that cripples Windows 10 is market share, I would point to the very design of Linux security, making it harder for hackers to write the actual code to inject into Linux machines. It can still be done, it just takes a bit more effort than it does on Windows. Mention updates to any Windows 10 user and they'll cringe. I remember the first time I rebooted a Windows 10 machine. The update took two hours. I can install 12 LAMP servers on bare metal in that time. I've heard horror stories of Windows 10 users losing precious work because the operating system automatically shuts down to run updates. From my experiences, it isn't always a given that the Windows 10 updates will be successful. Updating Linux rarely has any issue. Not only is updating with the various Linux package managers reliable, it's fast. You can do a full apt-get dist upgrade in the same time it takes a Windows machine to reboot, give or take a minute or so. On top of which, users are in total control of when updates happen. The operating system will not insist an update on a user. After an update runs, users only have to reboot if the kernel is updated. Even then, they can keep working with the current running kernel and reboot at a later time. You want to see a massive difference between Windows 10 and Linux? Load both up on older hardware and see how they perform. This can be made especially so by using a distribution like Peppermint OS or Lubuntu. The recommended minimum system requirements for Windows is certainly good for a laugh. For example, one or two gigabytes of RAM will give you a Windows 10 system so slow, you'll find yourself pulling out your hair in frustration. Ubuntu, on the other hand, would work just fine with what Microsoft suggests as the minimum for Windows 10. In other words, there is no comparison to how these two handle slower and older hardware. This comparison really only scratches the surface between the fundamental differences between Windows 10 and Linux. There are some areas where Windows actually bests Linux, few, but there are some. In the end, however, which platform you choose is up to you.